He's speaking to Nines, Brad Fittler, the New South Wales assistant coach. I'd like to ring around a lot of people, actually, and the only people that would put dirt on you were actually come from June. You, you spoke to some of your sisters and your mate. That'd be right. That'd be right. They'd have plenty on me. How, how was it? I think it's quite common knowledge. Growing up with seven sisters, how was that? Oh, it was... Um, I, I enjoyed it. I was lucky that I lived next door to my cousins and, and they had six boys and two girls, so there was eight in their family, so I used to spend a lot of my time over in their backyard playing, the halls? playing football, the halls, yeah. <laughs> Um, and, yeah, the, the girls, you know, didn't know a lot about football, um, but they've always been very supportive of me, um, both when I played and now as a coach. Um, and, it's, and it's great. I mean, we didn't have a lot as a, as a family, but um, uh, we never went without, uh, and they've been a, a big reason uh, behind my, my success. They reckon you used to cry a lot. Is that true? <laughs> yeah. They used to uh, call me starry eyes <laughs> because they reckon every time mum or dad would raise their voice, uh, I'd have that look that I was going to burst out in tears. <laughs> so they still give it to me today about being starry eyes and uh, the favourite. Um, yeah, but it's, it's great because they're a real leveller and when you go back and you see, see them, they're always taking the mickey out of you and, and bringing you down a, uh, a peg or two. They used to dress you up in girls' clothes, is that true? <laughs> Jeez, you've done your research, Freddie. <laughs> yeah, but I was uh, I was only seven at the time. Oh, seven? <laughs> <laughs> seven. I went to school one day uh, in the dress. I had the same clothes on as Mr Smith. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> no, it was... Um, yeah, it, it, they used to uh, dress me up in the, in the dresses and put the makeup on me and... Um, I, I didn't mind it, to be honest with you. When you're six or seven, <laughs> when you're six or seven, you just thought that that's, that's what happened. Until uh, my cousin saw me one day and said, what are you doing? <laughs> I said, oh, this is the normal go, isn't it? <laughs> and they said, you need to get over to our house. So that's where my footy career kicked off, in the backyard of the Hawleys. I really, really enjoyed um, growing up in GD because all you had was was, was sport, and uh, and it was it was great, fantastic. Everyone I spoke to said you could have been a cricketer, you could have been an AFL player, you're good at tennis, you're good at marbles, you're good at everything. <laughs> Why footy? Oh, I loved it. Um, for me, you know, just running around in the in the uh, backyard, um, kicking a footy around, you'd do it. Every, you know, Saturday, Sunday, in the winter time, uh, trying to emulate your heroes that you'd watch on TV. Um, every day after school, you'd be running around trying to get a, a group of kids together to kick a footy around and, and play play league. And you know, your mum would be yelling at you when the sun went down to, to come inside for for dinner, and you'd always be yelling, "No, one more try. Let's have one more try." Daily pressure is down. again on the third tackle. Stewart across for Daly. Daly! Laurie Daly! Oh! That is magnificent! Well, we just saw some of the skills from this young man, Laurie Daly, that uh, has had a lot of people suggesting he's the best player in the world. There was an article recently you said your dad was your best mate. What do you miss about your dad, him not being here? Yeah, yeah oh, God, mate, everything. Um, just even silly phone calls. What, you know, just even mowing the lawn. I used to ring up dad every time my dad had mow the lawn. What <laughs> I petrol? Could've, I could have brought this up, actually. <laughs> the girls are under you. <laughs> <laughs> what petrol do I have to put in the lawn yeah. mower? <laughs> like, just little things like that you, you just miss. And, you know, only a couple of weeks ago I went to start the lawn mower and I was out of petrol. and. Sort of got quite emotional because I just it just brought back that's that's what I usually did uh, yeah do when um, when when you mow the lawn I was you know make that phone call to dad but yeah it was you just you miss him all the time and um, yeah he's just a great he was a great mate he loved loved the footy players you know just loved um, coming to games and yeah, just saying hello. He always had a big, he oh, had a he had smile. A big smile on his face. Loved a, loved a beer, loved a good time. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, and you just miss sort of if you have some success sharing it with him. So, um, yeah, but yeah, it's just sort of always hard when you when you bring him up because you, you do, you can't help but um, get emotional. That, um, talk about emotional, the last game, you know, after, how emotional was that? Oh, Freddie, it was um, very special given that, um, you know, we haven't won for so many years. And it, it, it just felt surreal that, that um, you know, playing in front of a stadium, we did it tough, but we found a way to win. And the crowd support from New South Wales was the best I've ever seen it. Take him back, squeeze and take him back. All right, Slater. All right, we've got to do a job on him. We've got to do a job on him, and then it's our plus one, plus two. On Chambers or Boyd, next play. All right, that's our bread and butter, our kick chase. All right, that's where we get energy from. Marcus on Smith, big games, loves to run. Big games will run. Don't engage him, mirror him. All right, and let the line come forward. Let the line come forward. Don't engage him and let him put someone in behind the ditch. All right, call his name. Call his name all night, but he will run. He will run. Fido, how important is it to stop him on our left edge? He's their go-to man. He's the one they're looking for for a fast play the ball. All right, if he runs, he's a surrender. All right, we hold. We squeeze, we lock on, we hold. And if you're near the referee, you're talking to him about dropping. Him dropping as a surrender. All right. And when he runs, what's he looking to do? Quick play the ball. Hodges is out of there. Smith's out of there. All right. So if you see Hodges wow. in there, he's the same as Smith. There you go. We've taken you deeper right. into the origin Don't preparation than anyone Stanley's has inside. ever gone before, Don't other than the players. And it's because of the openness the availability and the humility of greats like Laurie Daly and helping to make Origin greater every year.